fine. Just please get here as soon as you can. I, I, I leave tomorrow, I, tomorrow afternoon. Uh, the afternoon of the eve of Christmas. I guess that is confusing. Uh, let's just say I leave tomorrow afternoon. Um, December 24th. Why are you heading to Belleville already? I had no interest being a part of that mass exodus out of Chicago, and we're getting more ice. When you get there, you know, be nice to Grandma, okay? I'll treat her with the same amount of respect she shows me. Well, that's a passive retort. Anyway, you know, I really love these pistachios. Or is it pistachios? How do you say it? Oh, well. They're like really good. Anyway, just be nice to Grandma, okay? You know, she's your mom. How is that mother of yours? Fine, it's just she's taking her uh, tour group to um to uh, Pasadena in a few weeks for the Rose Bowl. Oh, she says hello. <laughs> she did? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, gonna hop off. Can't wait to see ya. You will be a relief from the insanity. <laughs> positive attitude, Dan. Going in with a positive attitude. I'm. She might surprise you. I think she's great. You're her grandson. They gave you everything your heart's desired. Exactly. Let's not the love. But the secret to my grandma's recipe is that I let them soak overnight, even though conventional wisdom says they only need to soak in cold water for an hour. Then, the raisins. You should pay attention. This is the kind of recipe you could pass down to Chadskis. Chad doesn't want to learn how to make fruit soup. How would you know if you never gave him the option? Anyway, I'm just so glad you're here, baby. Me too. And Chadskis gets here? Tomorrow, four-ish. I gotta go pick him up. He's not taking the train from Lambert? I guess he could. Oh. Sext your son and tell him it's much easier to grab the train from the airport than we can just pick him up in Shiloh. Much easier. Sext my son? On the phone. You mean text? The people on Good Morning America were talking about sexting this, sexting that. It was a very big story. Don't say sexting anymore. Just stop. I don't know what's wrong with people just picking up their phone and dialing someone. That's what I use mine for, to call people. Worked for decades. Now everyone's face is buried in their phones, sex messaging each other. OK. I'll add the cinnamon, pears, and apples later. No need to soak those tonight. The cherry gelatin goes in after the fruit simmers, as will the dates and cherries. Box gelatin, we're gonna get our fill of processed sugars. Hmm? If it comes in a box, Mom, you shouldn't eat it. You should only buy from the outer walls of the grocery store the fresh food. Everything else in the middle is just garbage. It is? It smells like it's gonna snow. Alec! Dad! Good to see you, I'm glad you made it. So now you're able to smell snow. How does that work? Well, of course. It smells like smoke from a wood stove burning in the distance. Maybe ice itself has a smell. Just a very dry, cold aroma. You can smell it for hours before the first flakes start falling. Mm, it's supposed to snow three inches by Christmas morning. Got the apples. The market was thick as a thicket. Mm -hmm. It was worth it. Thank you. Wouldn't be the same without my apples. We love our fruit soup, Mother. <laughs> hey, everything good on the trip down? Mm-hmm. Got an assortment of sundries as well. Oh, I have plenty of toilet tissue. I bought in bulk. Well, we'll have lots of people here over the next two days. Lots of people on the pot. Oh, Donald. Hey, how are things, Dad? How's the um, car in the club? Our car's running good. 
well. Oh, oh yeah, it's, it's running well, right. As far as the club, uh, everything is well. Good. Good, yeah. well, except for Sam. You know, Samuel, daddy's lawyer friend for 30 years. The accident injury attorney? Mm -hmm. The guy that had the cleft in the chin that made his face look like a butt? Right. <laughs> What's wrong with Sam? He died. Oh, I'm sorry. Playing racquetball. With you? No, with the... Uh... You know, I just read the craziest thing. Did you know how Tennessee Williams died? He um, had this habit of putting the cap of the eye drop bottle in his mouth when he was putting eye drops in. So he puts his head back, swallows the cap, it gets caught in his throat, and he dies in the hotel room. Huh. <laughs> I mean, listen, I know I'm in the minority about Tennessee Williams and uh, the streetcar named Desire, but I won't deny the fact that he displayed his talents in the glass menagerie. Look, I need to go unpack. He used to be so cute. Well, he still is. Yeah. Well, he gets it from his mother. I'll be upstairs in 30. I'll wear my skinny Santa suit if you promise to take your socks off this time. Ooh, what the H? It's the night before the night before Christmas. I'm up for that. You to have some monkey bread and coffee. Oh, thanks. This monkey bread's delicious. I know you're gonna like They're it, I promise. Delicious flavored. My favorite, eggnog excellence. <laughs> oh, thanks. What you doing? Oh, I'm wrapping these gifts. Do you have any, um... Uh, wrapping paper yeah. coming right up. Hey, what's that? Oh, this is for Leanne. I got it in the Pacific Northwest last summer. <gasps> you know, she's bringing her super tall boyfriend. He rents and leases apartments, so you'll have lots to chat about. Yeah, because renting apartments is like selling million dollar lakefront property. Don't be such an elitist, son. I think she'll like it. I think she prides herself in looking beautiful. I'm so old and dumpy. I will pay you five bucks to stop it with the self-loathing, all right? <sighs> Not enough. Babe, we've been through this. You look great, okay? Oh, I don't. I look like Father Time took a dump on my face. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't, okay? You look like, uh, like a young Diane Cannon. How do you even know who Diane Cannon is? Are you kidding me? I used to watch Ellie McBeal when I was little. When you were little? Yeah. Kill me. I'm not wearing this. Uh... At least you don't have to wear a huge bow in your hair like I did. There's video footage of it. Yeah, Grandpa used to record all of us singing Christmas carols around the tree, and then they would decorate my head with the bows from the discarded packages. See, at least I'm not that cruel. You're cruel in your own special ways. <laughs> I'm changing oh. into my black dress. Uh, no. It's slimming. Oh. Black is slimming. Obviously, it doesn't apply to everyone. You carry your weight well. You're 6'5". Besides, she looks great, despite what she says. Yeah, can't imagine where she picked up the little self-esteem from. Hey. What? You're a boy. Your mom loves you for who you are. My mom offered to pay me to lose weight before a trip to Acapulco. <laughs> no. -uh. Yeah, huh? So your mom was going to pay you to drop pounds? Per pound. Wow. That ain't right. 
Well, you're going to want to look trim in that bathing suit, aren't you, dear? I'm just offering a way to motivate you. Mm-hmm. She's obsessed with me being trim. <laughs> That's such an old white lady's word. Trim. And this is for Travis. What is it? Oh, it's one of those gizmos that lets you watch the internet through the TV. I thought he could just sit there, smoke a bowl, and be lazy. <laughs> He's not that lazy. Uh, you know, the last time I was at his apartment, the only time, he showed me how he defrost hamburger in the dry cycle of the dishwasher. You know what would be fun? If I would get some old tapes out and we could get them on TV. Remember how we used to sing around the tree? Yeah. I need to find the VCR. Now, where did I put that? Dad, you haven't converted your VHS tapes yet? No. It'd be fun to have them on DVD, though. That's a good idea. Dad, DVD is dead. You need to make them into digital movie files. Oh. Mm, Do you okay. even think he'll like this? He's such a slacker. So you're going to bring some Tupperware so, you know, we can eat some of your mom's leftovers. Mm. Good call. Bring some grub. Seriously, this apartment has no food. I'm not eating ramen on Christmas Day. Don't worry, bros. We'll be eating like kings. We'll be eating with you? No, man. I gotta do it alone. My ma is totally strict. Like, so obsessed with it being family only, man. And beyond that, she's like obsessed with the dinner table settings, man. It's like, gots to be perfect. We'll sit at the kids table. Plastic disposable forks, yo. <laughs> Bummer. Totally not feeling it. You gotta be dating a family member in order to join the club. I can be your sister wife. I can totally be your sister wife. This is season for polygamy. I'll bring you some leftovers. But what I really need so I need you to wish me luck. The whole family's gonna be there. Luck, 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 luck. 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 Bring it in. Anything for your uncle? <sighs> no, not yet. But I am gonna go out a little bit later today. You know, he'd probably enjoy a nice well, The bottle. holiday rush will be excruciating out there. Kill me now. <laughs> Maybe I'll just make a donation to whatever charity in his name. I can do that online, and then I can print it out and wrap it up or something. You have any um, ink in the printer? As a matter of fact, I just replaced the cartridge after your mother printed all her family update letters. Good God. We're all in our 40s, well, almost, and she's still sending that stuff out? She sends them to our doctors, our dentists. Like our dentist wants to know how many properties I've sold this year. <laughs> well, he probably doesn't, but she enjoys it, so what the heck? Does she still trash Uncle Heath? Deep down, I know she loves her brother. It's just his personality rubs her the wrong way. Deck the halls with bowls of folly. Fa la 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 la. John, we know our days are narrow. Ah! Ben and Amber, I have no idea. I think they like uh, things from those airline catalogs. Sky Mall. Yeah, that's it. That's it. I can't find them. Darn it. What you looking for, babe? I'm looking for those grapefruit spoons, you know, the Christmas ones, the ones that play Christmas cards. Oh, yeah, those would be perfect. I know, right? Uh, so wait, they're not in the bin labeled battery operated Christmas utensils? No, no, no. I had the Ranger soup ladle in there. And I packed the self heating knuckle, those with the solar panels. Oh, yeah, and we gotta remember to get that in a window so that it can heat up the nuts. Right, right. But no musical grapefruit spoons. And I never make mistakes when I do that. Well, maybe you put them in the New Year's Eve utensil bin. Oh, yeah, that's possible. OK, I'll go check, you go change. What did you get your son? I gave him the gift of life. <laughs> Doesn't my seat count for anything anymore? You know, I did raise him as a single father when his mother decided she was going to go off and be a traveling tour guide. That she did. I got him some clothes, Dad, along with my monthly college tuition payments I have to make. I was going through some old trunks the other day, and I found some stuff from the war that I think he would really enjoy. He's an inch taller than me now, and he wears a size smaller shirt because of his waistline. I hope he enjoys being 20. <laughs> hey, you're hey. borderline <laughs> naked. That's fun. Oh. 
sit down. You uh, could have texted. You know I hate texting because of my fat thumbs. Your thumbs are as slender as any lady's. I've been meaning to compliment those thumbs, those skinny thumbs. Thanks, I'm bulimic, but I only throw up the finger foods. Oh, well, that's very sweet of you to share. <laughs> I'm the sweetest. Oh, you are. Holy crap, actually, I met a girl the other day who outsweeted me. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not kidding you. I was at this interview, and there was actually a girl there who could oh. outsweet me. Impossible. Impossible. Oh, no. What's that? Oh, it's a turtle art. It's for my grandpa. Mm -hmm. <laughs> are you okay? You seem stressed. It, it, I gotta go because my dad, he, he's just, he's stressing over me, you know, getting there because he doesn't want to be alone with family. It, whatever, it, you get the family that you get. True, in my case it's Hanukkah headache. <laughs> yeah, like mine is <laughs> passive aggressive Baptist. Like, then to you I say, Merry Christmas. Oh, well then to you I say, Happy Hans. Oh, I wish you'd seen your niece's Christmas concert. Of course, they didn't call it a Christmas concert. They called it a winter scene. Please don't go into the war on Christmas, Mother. There's no war on Christmas by the liberals. I know. Don't lecture me. I just think it's funny that they call it a winter scene. Well? Singing the praises of Mother Nature and Father Time. That is kind of funny. Heaven forbid they should teach the kids to believe in something. So you want the public schools to teach kids about Moses and Jesus and Buddha and Allah and how they need to worship them. You've made your point and I get it. You don't believe in Jesus. I never said that. Well, good. If you want me to be honest. And I love it when you are. I really don't know what I believe in. I just have a problem with that idea of belief. Well, sweetheart, I hope you figure that out. Something, anything to latch on to? That would be your mother's little Christmas wish. I'm gonna go set my girls under the pool table in the basement. Uh, no, just set them up and don't start playing. But Manage your expectations. Ah, we're working on that. <laughs> Thanks to Moose. So we're really supposed to call you Moose? Is that your real name? At this point, I don't even know. I've been a moose since I was a five foot tall kindergartner. Well, that's interesting. Uh, but I will let you in on a little secret, though. I think my mom originally named me one of those black names, you know, like a Tayshawn or Deontay or something. <laughs> it's okay to laugh. <laughs> so I see you're teaching Ava how to manage her expectations by letting her play with the dolls. If they were real women, Leanne, they would be 5'9 and weigh 110. Have you read Body Wars by Dr. Margot Main? What are, you, what are you even talking? How do you even know that? You don't even have a daughter. It's called staying informed, Leanne. Maybe you should listen to NPR. Maybe you should turn off NPR and go outside and go fly a kite in an ice storm. Good one, Leanne. Hey, Leanne. I love that blouse. It's adorable. Thank you. Yeah, yeah mom's going to hate it. What? Oh, she, she will. will. Yeah, no. she will. Yeah, she'll be like, what is that? Purple, or is it like wet magenta, or um, eggplant? Now you know she's not gonna say that. <laughs> yeah, she will. And how come every time you imitate your mom's voice, you sound like Gargamel trying to trap a Smurf? Good reference. Mom says it's time to find our name cards and take our seats in an orderly fashion, single file. <laughs> come on. I need to wash my right hand. I've been sneezing into it all morning. That's gross. Yeah, allergies, right? I mean, come on, this time of oh, year I'm like one big mucus yeah. machine. Ew. That is so revolting. Please go wash your hands with antibacterial soap. Hey, do we need anything else from the kitchen? No, you waited to ask me until I brought every last thing out to the table. That's what I do best. For 44 years. You did good, Mother. Thanks. You have four grown children willing to spend Christmas together under one roof. So do you. It totally came from the simplest of needs, where the best ideas come from, right? So me and my buddies, we'd order some pizzas, so and they're still living with we, those boys. Hey, I'll give you cash on your first business venture. Boom. Silver dollar. I'm your first investor. I was wondering when I was getting one of these bad boys again. No, it's in the uncle's handbook. But what about Leanne, though? 
Uh, she gets two quarters, two dimes, a nickel, and two pennies. Because you see, women only get 77 cents on the dollar. Fair point. <laughs> Hilarious. It's actually a shame the gap in pay between men and women hasn't changed in, what, over a decade? Okay, Alec, thanks. I'm serious. And when you take race and economic factors that are present... Oh, speaking of presents, I still need to go to the mall. Who's with me? No, 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 no. We have all kinds of family activities planned. Oh. Charades, games... Yeah, I'm sorry. I do have presents. I'll, I've got to go to the mall Please tonight. tell me you have time for fruit soup. Or are you too busy for great grandma and tradition that she passed down to us? What's fruit soup? It's warm and it's mushy. It really goes against nature. It rubs nature the wrong way. <laughs> Why do you guys eat it then? Uh, people pleasers. Most everyone in here is too concerned with bolstering the well-being of others at the expense of his or her own self. Wow, such analysis. Thank you. There you go, Andrew. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you, Buttons. Here's yeah. some point. Gee, Alec, what else are we doing wrong? Up in the big city, um, being kind isn't part of human functioning. Honey, it's okay. It wasn't a criticism. It's just a result of our upbringing. The Christian bubble where we all had to believe exactly the same thing. Well, I'm sorry I didn't raise you in the ravaged streets of Baghdad. <laughs> What's everyone laughing at? Nothing. Don't wait on me. Eat up. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey! Losers, weepers, no get backs. <laughs> hey! 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 That was hot! No, you're not. You guys are. No, you're making a mess. Hey. You guys need to cut it out. Right, Deb? Hey, I thought it was kind of fun. <laughs> what on earth? Uh oh. It's called Scared to Death, and it's a mystery. You mean to tell me you wrote this all by yourself? Yep. No help from your mama? Nope. Not even Moose? Grandpa, shh, let me read. All ears. It was just one of those rainy days. Oh, I know yeah. that. You never see coming. Two kids named Marina and Ava were walking with their umbrellas and saw a little girl coming towards them. The home team has first and ten in the closing. Attention mounts, Moose. <laughs> Let's get it. All right, here we go. So, what about your dad? Oh, yeah, like I was saying, um, I guess he just couldn't take my mom being more successful, you know? Bro, I'm sorry. Growing up with an absentee father kind of warps your sense of belonging. <laughs> Warp. That's a funny word, kind of like wart. Don't be a worry wart. <laughs> yeah. Mom used to tell me that I wasn't allowed to worry. She said that the devil would come in the middle of the night and burn my eyebrows. <laughs> and block. You done with this? Sure, thanks. Okay, you're up, man. Uh. Oh, no, dear. No need to put those away in the cabinet. We're just gonna use them again in a few hours. That's true. Just be super careful and stack them on the table over there. Did you know that my grandmother, Anne, brought those over from Sweden in 1918? No, I didn't. No? But you know, I love how you treasure your homeland of Sweden. The heirlooms, the fruit soup, <laughs> <laughs> even the fruit soup. But I don't even know where my family's from. Originally, I mean. Well, because you were adopted. Yes, yeah, I was. You. Must be from somewhere gorgeous strawberry blonde beauties come from. Somewhere where the girls are all trim. Isn't she so trim, Leanne? Yes, very. I'm always telling my girlfriend how trim my daughter-in-law is. They ask me, when is she going to have a grandbaby? And I say back, you should see how slender she is. <laughs> I don't know where a baby's going to fit. Probably in the uterus, that's where mine did. Not that I'm pushing. You have eons to start a family. It's nice you're so much younger than Ben. He can make babies at any age, and you have a nice window of time. Unlike me, who's toast. No. Hey, uh, do we have anything to munch on? <sighs> you hungry again? You did the right thing by marrying someone 10 years older. I love me a tangerine. I'm doing the wrong thing by dating someone 10 years my junior. No, I didn't say anything about Moose. You know how I feel. I want you to keep him as long as you can. Wait, wait, you're putting 
plastics in with table scraps? Wow, you're really rooting for your daughter. Not one compliment since I got here. Oh, nonsense. I said I adored that eggplant blouse yeah. of yours. You don't recycle, Mom. <laughs> I mean, I knew what? that... What would you like to say to me about the way I dispose of waste? I don't have anything to offer that botanist Luther Burtbank hasn't already said on the topic. You know, I think I hear my phone vibrating in the living room. You know, I kind of like to hear what the botanist said. Well, basically, he said that if you violate nature's laws, you are your own prosecuting attorney, judge, jury, and hangman. You too. Get out of my kitchen. I play the next winner. Uh, you know what? You can actually take over my game. I should probably go outside and see what's what. She went outside? Ugh. I'll go. She probably wants me to apologize. So only the baby Jesus and his angels knows what I did wrong. I'm sure it's her. It's not you, okay? You know how to play this, Ma? Let me guess. I'm supposed to connect four? Yeah, that's about right. It can be vertical, diagonal, or horizontal. Mm. I am going to destroy you. <laughs> she turns around everything that I say. Yeah? Well, I spent about as many nights under the same roof with her as you, and to be honest, she never got me either. See, <laughs> so you understand. Yeah, well, but I'll, I'll tell you, Alec, you do have a way of saying things, I don't know, ungraciously. Really? But not, not, not always, just uh, in recent years. I don't think so. You know what picture I have hanging up of you on my fridge? I'll tell you. It's the same one I've had hanging up there for uh, 30 plus years. What picture? Well, you were just a kid. And uh, great grandma Ann went out and bought you a little drummer boy pair of suspenders. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And they were ugly. And uh, everybody was laughing, teasing about what a cheesy joke they were. I mean, even you at age 10, you knew that they were dorky. <laughs> yep. But you know what? You were, uh, you were such a tender-hearted kid. And you went ahead and you put on those suspenders anyway and you took that picture. You see, it didn't matter that all the adults were laughing and teasing and pointing their fingers at you. You see, because you, uh, you didn't want to hurt her feelings. So you went ahead and you put on those suspenders and you walked up to her and you wrapped your arms around her and you gave her a great big hug and you took that picture with her and every time that I look at that picture well I think of you in that way gracious and tender hearted Alec Coming up next on the Johnny Kane Show Christmas special, we'll tell you 101 new uses for ham. Yeah, did you know a slice of ham can be used to defog a bathroom mirror after a hot shower? Hey. So this is your plan, huh? You're just gonna sit out here and waste heat? Mm-hmm. Yep. Did you change your blouse? I did, yeah. Mm-hmm. Why? Because, um, did you call your mom? <laughs> no. Why? Uh, because it's Christmas Eve afternoon and you should do that. We have plans. I'll check in on her tomorrow. And, uh, <laughs> don't you tell me about moms, all right? I mean, what's the deal with you and yours? I think she's pretty cool. <laughs> it's like, the more she compliments Amber, the more it feels like a slam against me. 
So you hate Amber? No, actually. She's sweet. I mean, she's great for Ben, and he's really actually lucky to have her. And we're probably really good for her, too. You know that she was adopted, right? Babe, a lot of people would kill to have the family life that you've had. <laughs> what, okay. What was that? Uh, oh, that, that was a guffaw. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. What was it like to grow up and have siblings around you? Or two parents who could afford to take that time off for the holidays? You know, my mom worked herself to the bone for me at the hospital. But every holiday she gets stuck with a 12-hour shift and I end up spending that time with my teenage cousin, Shatanya. That's my Christmas tradition. Horror films and dry patty melts. Well, at least you got to watch cool stuff. My overprotective mother wouldn't let us watch The Grinch because she thought he was a demon because he was green. You know, I would have killed for a little overprotection. Sorry. Oh, maybe you want to go shopping with me? No. Good try, though. <laughs> Look at you, getting me when I'm all emotionally vulnerable and junk. Then get out. We gotta go buy all kinds of presents that will never be good enough. You know who you're turning into? That comic strip of that, that girl that I worked in a cubicle. What was her name? Uh, Cindy? Kathy? Yeah, Kathy. Kill me now. <laughs> you are so turning into Kathy. <laughs> oh, get out. Out. Uh, hey. 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 Are you still going to the mall? No, I'm going downtown shopping. I don't know how long I'm going to be there. <sighs> well, for both going to go downtown, um, I might as well ride with you. You know, if people don't start carpooling, emissions okay, are... Okay, go, 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 shut, shut up. Okay, thanks. Well, this isn't the uh, news I was hoping to deliver on Christmas Eve. What? 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 I'll cancel? Eight inches of snow. It looks like we may not be able to leave the terminal. The city shut down. This is crap. Bull crap. Hey, sir. Sorry, okay? I'm supposed to be on a plane right now to go meet this hot chick I met on Christian Jingle. Well, I'm sure we all have plans that mean something to us. You want a piece of me? Hey, no, 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 no. not so much. I'm, I'm just hugely disappointed. Look, I'm sure you're all about as disappointed as I am. Being snowed in is working on a holiday. Because Jenny decided Christmas Eve was the best night to schedule a hysterectomy. That's neither here nor there. Look, everybody just have a seat and make the most of it. And Merry Christmas. I am celebrating Kwanzaa. Okay, whatever floats your boat. I think he's more in love with my family than he is with me. Well, if he likes us that much, there's got to be something wrong with it. Luce loves Mom and Dad. He just met Ben and Amber, but he loves him some Travis. You, he hasn't said anything about. Gee, thanks. Any word from Chad's keys? No. Come on, he's got to get here. Ugh, Mom will be so excited to see him. Maybe she'll leave me alone. What did she say to you that's so bad? Nothing. She just dotes on Amber. Now you don't like Amber. What? Yeah, no, actually I do. She's really nice to have another girl in the family. Never to return to the town again. The end. Ava, Grandpa loved your story. Put him to sleep. Yeah, well, that happens at that age. Guess so. Yeah. Didn't you bring some dolls with you? Mm-hmm. Yeah? What are their names? Do you want to show me? Come down to the Glamour Town. I'll introduce you. Glamour Town? All right. I mean, you know, it must be nice for her to finally have a family, especially at this time of year. What do you mean? With her never having had one. How so? Foster care her whole life. I had no idea. Alex, she's in your life for four years. You never knew that. They sound really good. Yeah. Wow, I really needed this caffeine. I have to make this a game of speed shopping, working off impulse. You know, I shop throughout the year. That way, what you... Oh, shut it. Yeah, I'm just more sporadic, like Travis. Wow, Travis. Maybe you should just aim a little higher. Uh. Oh, it's ingenious, bro. 
I mean, I would buy that. I just got to raise the capital cash, bro. You know, they're really not that difficult to manufacture. You should talk to Ben about your business plan. Pay no heed to the fact that he's your baby brother. He really knows his marbles when it comes to business. <laughs> Draw four and make it uh. green. Look, sorry about that. Hey, um, let me think about this. Now it's a spatula and scissors, but it's all in one? Yeah, so you know how people have scissors for their kitchen yeah. that cut up food? Yeah. Well, these are like that. So imagine, if you will, scissors, right? And then on that bottom blade, imagine that it, that it feathers out just like a spatula, right? So there's this flat surface, right? So then you approach the pizza, right? And then you cut up right there, and then the pizza magically goes right up on the spatula, and boom! You got yourself some pizza. Oh, <laughs> that sounds nice, dear. I would use one of those. Yeah, I would too, and I eat pizza at least four nights a calendar year. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he told me his idea for pizza shears, and it's actually pretty good. You should take it seriously. <laughs> I'll take him seriously when he's not playing Donkey Kong with his roommates. You know, it's not 1985, Alec. Now they play video games where they name call girls for points. Okay, if I could ask y'all to scoot y'all's jingle bells to the left, thank you, thank you. So you haven't said anything about Moose. Moose? Moose, yeah, my boyfriend. I know who Moose is. I just have problems calling him that. I mean, doesn't it sound a little racist to you? Why, because he's black? I don't know what color he is. What? Shut up, get it real. Chicago and where I'm from, diversity is all over the place. I can't mm -hmm. even tell the color of people's skin. Mm -hmm. It's a mm -hmm. melting pot. Yeah. yeah, it is, yeah, you're right. You want to know what I think? Yes. I think you occur desperate and needy. I think that if you don't watch yourself, you're going to be out of the best relationship of your life with this moose. Sometimes when a man hears a woman go on and on about how ugly she is and how fat she is, he actually starts to believe her. So, would the happy couple like to come with me? You know what, Alec? You're starting to sound exactly like our mother. Who we'll really put you on a couple? Wow, like our mother. Now that's a low blow. Why? What, you don't love your own mom? I love her. I just have a hard time. What, respecting her? Or, well, anyone else in our family, for that matter? What about respecting me and my accomplishments? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Let's just back up this hellbound Christmas sleigh ride, OK? <laughs> You're so busy telling us all about your own accomplishments. We don't have to worry about that. You're your own best publicist. You're your own best spin doctor. Well, you better learn how to spin your own life because you're gonna spin yourself right out of that relationship. So, no kids. You two just wanted your picture taken with Santa. Well, isn't that refreshingly different? Santa? We're just here having coffee, okay? I've got a shop. You what? need to come with me. Why? You need some cheer. Come on, let's go. One, what? two, three, what? go, go, go. What? Let me guess. You're an atheist. Well, why would you think that? Well, you're as angry as an atheist. Walking around, irritated and hot-headed that others don't agree with their belief in nothing. What kind of belief is that? Belief in nothing. But where did you get that? We weren't talking about religion. Metsy! Sparkle! Can you two do me a big favor? We're on a break. Oh, it's kind of an emergency. One of the little boys ate one of the reindeer's eyes. I don't recall which one, either Dancer or Prancer. Oh, wait! Yes, it was Prancer. Really? It's very disturbing to the children. Can y'all run down to the toy store and buy a marble with stuff in its eye socket? Of course, we're on it. Wow, that really happened? Sadly, yes. But back to the subject. I know your story, mister. You don't believe in anything. You don't even believe in your own family. What? Christmas must be a very difficult time for you. I just think we're different people. You don't listen to them. You don't even listen to your own sister. 
You know what I learned working in the North Pole? I learned that everyone just wants to be heard, to be listened to once in a while, to know that their thoughts matter to others. Sometimes I cannot believe the things I hear grown adults tell Santa when they're on his lap. Go right ahead, sweetheart. This is your opportunity to tell Santa what you want. No, it's really okay. Just go ahead, just snap the picture. We have people, children, waiting. Go ahead, tell Santa what you want. Oh, fine. Well, if I'm being perfectly honest, then... Santa, what I want for Christmas is to not ruin my relationship with my loving partner and not to role model all my insecurities about my impressionable daughter. <laughs> Oh dear, that's unfortunate. <laughs> hey dad, bad news. No, 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 no. No, well, we're, we're, we're snowed in, like no one's going anywhere tonight. I need you here. Everyone's driving me crazy, and I just got a lecture from an elf. What? Just be here by morning, okay? Well, I, I'll, I'll try, but I'm, I'm kind of at the mercy of God's will right now. Like... This is garbage. Well, I, I, know, I know, I just... My, my phone is dying. I, uh, everybody is competing for electricity here. I, I, I'll send you a text when I, I find a, phone, a charging station. I love you. All right, bye. Love you. All right, bye. Ah. Hi, Alec. Where are you? I look like a raccoon that's been forced to live in the outskirts of town. Huh? What was that? Yeah, well, anyway, I, I've got, got like, I'll call you when I'm done shopping. I've got like 10 different things to get, so you. Look, I gotta go. Later. Okay, I'll, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Hey there. Hey. <laughs> Bored? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you want to uh, help me with an art project? Yeah. Yeah? Hey, is it cool if she helps me with a little project? It would be the best Christmas present ever. <laughs> Well, come on down. We'll, we'll make a little craft. You remind me a lot of my cousin. And last Christmas, we made snowflakes. Have you ever done that before? Yeah. Yeah? Cool. Well, I have some paper in my bag because I was going to pen the uh, great American novel. <laughs> um, let's just um, fold these into small squares. I'll get you started, OK? You like? Making snowflakes yeah. out of paper? Yeah. I'll give you this one. You go ahead and let's fold them. There you go. Even though you're a pro at this. Okay, just like that. There you go. We'll make it really small. How much smaller do you think we should go? Uh, maybe a little bit smaller. A little bit smaller? Mm -hmm. All right. Do you have any scissors? Do I have scissors? No, I don't. They don't let us travel with scissors. But I do have fingernail clippers. <laughs> yeah, voila. Um, so we'll just snip and clip our way through. We get you clip in here. Okay. Give me a high five. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Watch Whoa. it. Hey. What are you? Alec? Arlene? Uh, yeah. Wow, what it's been like a couple of decades. Yeah, two and a half if you go back to when we were actually friends. Huh? Yeah, almost 30 years since you dumped the only girl who would read your long-winded journals and your love letters to Lisa Welchel. Anyway, 
Happy holidays from our heart to your home. Seriously, you don't remember writing a letter. We were, as the kids say, besties. From second to 10th grade. And then... Your pregnancy. I was told that you were going to terminate it, so I wrote you a note. It was really bad. And I quote, if you do this, Arlene, I will wave to you from heaven as you are thrown into the lake of fire. And, and if I chose to have the baby, which by the way, I was always gonna do, but if I chose to have the baby, you said I would always look at it and remember that I had slapped the face of Jesus by choosing to have premarital relations. I remember. You said I had been a Christian role model to you and that you had never been so disappointed in another person. You said you could no longer be my friend because darkness couldn't exist with darkness, that your light pierced my darkness and you saw me for who I really was, a, a pawn of the deceiver. That was, that's who I was. It, I was a product of my... Yeah, even though I gave her up for adoption. You never said another word to me. Every time you, you would, you'd accidentally catch my eye, you'd, you'd, you'd immediately look away. I wasn't even worth a side hug on graduation day. What? When does somebody actually become a jerk? My uncle and I had a talk earlier today about how I was when I was a kid and I didn't even recognize who he was describing. Yeah, I think I lost my way, I don't know, somewhere around that time. Really? Yeah. I mean, it's like every single life choice that I made. I was such an angry, bitter woman. Well, I mean, until recently, anyway. <laughs> That's why my husband lives in Guam. <laughs> you know, he and his wife went there and decided to adopt a baby. They decided to stay. <laughs> I mean, that's how much distance you needed for me from here to Guam. Arlene, you know every decision that I made that point in my life, in so far as how it related to you, was a mistake. There's no excuse, no defense. I just latched on to my religious beliefs and that fed my re religious superiority complex. <laughs> if I had to do it all over, 1990, I'd be in that hospital right by your bed, beating the ice chips. Would you have episodes of Perfect Strangers on VHS? You know, to help me through labor? Okay. Let's say this never happened. We're still best friends and you're home for the holidays. How can I, your best friend, help? Well, apparently I am not a good listener for those in my family. And I'm a horrible brother, a rotten son. Perfect.
I was a rotten person until a year ago. I had my own supernatural experience. Lost the one friend I had and saw myself the way the world sees me. So the whole world kind of dislikes both of us. I apparently don't even know my siblings. It's not too late to buy your family better gifts. Hmm? If you want to show people that you love them, just get them gifts that show that you listen, that you know who they are. I could help. Really? Yeah. I mean, we got a few hours before all the shops close. So what'd you get for everybody? For Leanne, I'm getting her a handheld mirror. Mm. But now that I think about it, she actually doesn't like looking at herself. For Travis, I'm getting him this gadget that lets you watch the web on your TV screen. And I really think you'll like it. Huh, he still likes gadgets, huh? You know, he was always like that. I think he was the first person I ever knew who got a compact disc. I thought it was just a fad, you know, like laser discs. Yeah, he really loves gadgets. Huh. Matter of fact, he invented this gadget that has a lot of potential. Mm -hmm. But then go, I man. just Oh, hey, thank you. You're very welcome. Us. Oh, hey, you know what we could do in addition to the web thing is we could sign him up for one of those TV shows, you know, where inventors pitch their ideas to investors. And we can do that later tonight at my place. Oh, we can also print out one of those forms, you know, where you prove to him that you submitted him for the thing, and you can put that in a card. Well, that's not bad. Mm -hmm. And what about your younger brother, Benji? Well, Ben, he likes gadgets, too. But they need to be the pointless kind that uh, you see on, like, infomercials at night. You know, we have one of those stores here. Pointless gadgets for yuppies. That's what they call it. Well, I mean, they may as well. Do you know one of my friends gave me this battery-operated dish rag? That's not a real thing. <laughs> it is totally a thing. What? You wipe down the counters with it, you push play, and it shakes itself dry. <laughs> you know, it even gives off this little electrical shock from time to time. <laughs> <laughs> Ben and Amber would love it. Uh-huh. Okay. So we'll stop by Gadgets, Gadgets, Gadgets. Mm. Who's next? Oh, your parents. Are they still together? Oh, yeah, definitely. They're going to be around. They'll be the elderly couple with the uh, matching outfits one day. Mm. Really? Mm -hmm. No. Yeah, they have these sweatshirts that um, have each other's pictures on them. And it mm -hmm. says, my heart belongs to that one. <laughs> <laughs> that is actually really cute. Do you know, I think as people get into their 60s, they can actually pull stuff like that off, and it is actually really adorable. I guess so. Mm -hmm. mm. You know what we should do? We should make them matching really ugly Christmas sweatshirts. I mean, I have like crafty stuff at home, like fabric paint and stencils and sparkles and all sorts of stuff. It would be really brilliant. My mom would love that. Mm. My dad, he would like it too. He's a good sport. And all through the house, not a creature was stirring. Not even The stockings were hung by the chimney with care. Hopes to see Nicholas soon would be there. I, on the other hand, am not a good sport. I'm the opposite of that. Well, we know what your New Year's resolution is going to be. Touche. Hmm. OK, so what about your dad? What is he into? Well, he's been walking around the house looking for his VCR. So I'll get him a VCR. Um, that might be kind of difficult to find. Why does he want a VCR? He's so badly wanting to watch our old videos because we used to sit around the tree and sing songs. You know what? Hmm. I'm gonna shoot him a new video on my phone. Mm -mm. You have to use my camcorder. It'll be better footage. He's gonna flip out. He's yeah. gonna love it. <laughs> He's gonna love it. He's been shooting videos and taking good photos his whole life. Well, I mean, like, those moments are really important to parents. Tell me about it. <laughs> Wait, what? Yep. Are you trying to tell me that you're, you're, 
You're a father. 20-year-old son. What? He's my, uh... Your rock. My role model, actually. He is. Yeah. I raised him right, I think. And then he turns around and becomes a better man than me. You completely wore her out. I have a little cousin, and, you know, I'm still, like, young enough to outplay her. So I'll climb underneath the pool table and I'll play with dolls of Glamour Town until Ava passes out. Glamour Town? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's this place filled with blonde women, perky D cups, and the men are genitally free. Uh, oh. <laughs> yeah. You want kids of your own someday? I mean, stop me if that's too personal. You know, I, I want kids in my life, and I have that, you know, as a cousin. I, you know, I get in, and I get all the glory, and I, you know, for being awesome, and then I get out. <laughs> so I'll always be like, cool, cousin Chad. <laughs> Not if you keep referring to yourself like that. Uh. <laughs> uh, and your uncle. Well, it's gonna sound odd, but I want to buy him a pair of suspenders. I want a pair for me and for him, and I want a picture of us. Okay, um, I'm sure one of the old man department stores sells that, but why? Long story, I want to be the man he sees me as. Huh. Okay. Let's do this. Time is not on our side. All right, here's some punch for you. Thank you. Thank you. And some punch for you. Mm. How about some cookies? Uh, sure, yeah. What kind of cookies should we have? Sugar cookies. Sh should take up dance again. Yeah. Can I help you? Your copy of Modern Menopause was lying here on the porch. Um, can I speak with my son? Who's... is... Are you Moose's mother? Come in. Uh, Andy, yes, and... Uh, I'll stay out here. Can you just get him for me, please? Well, yes, of course, but it's freezing outside. Thank you. Can... Thank you. 
But uh, I'd really like to speak with my son, who's too good for his own family. Hmm. I have one of those. Why don't you go with me around the corner here? I'd love it if you could help me with something. I'm glad he found a family. And I love Leanne. It's just, you know, she wasn't exactly what you I was expecting. You think he would fall in love with a blonde-haired, blue-eyed white girl with a half-grown daughter? Well, <laughs> understandable. And I'm happy he's found this big white family to oh, call his own. It. All right. It's just, I miss him. And I get it. I get it. Andy's father left when he was just seven. Old enough to remember him, but young enough to be permanent scarring. So I understand his love for the comfort of a big family. Why did his father leave, do you mind me asking? Another woman? No. No, that wasn't his issue. Insecurity. I was making more money as a first year nurse. He was laid off, so it made sense for him to stay home with the baby. But he was old school, by the book. The man is the provider. All right. Now as the church submits to Christ, also wives submit to their husbands mm -hmm. in everything. Apostle Paul. Yeah. I'm a good Christian lady, but Paul troubles me. He had issues with homophobia. He didn't condemn slavery. <laughs> Women, gays, and slaves were not exactly the apostle's strong suit. <laughs> so, your son. Three of them, actually, but the one I was referring to isn't here. Christmas Eve. Oh, he's around. He's just not at home with his family. No phone call, no sex message, just out. Why? Where? <sighs> He's better than us. He's probably making an important phone call or at a Mensa meeting or watching Jeopardy or listening to NPR. You give them everything as a mother. And still, Andy adores you. He speaks of you all the time. I know my son loves me. He's not replacing you, Alice. He's just spending time with his girlfriend. But I get it. When my son Ben got engaged to Amber, I felt shut out. Yes. But. We raised young men capable of loving. They're not shut off. They're capable of growing and evolving and becoming better men. And that's quite a feat when it comes to, you know, males. <laughs> I heard that, but you're right. Hi. Heath, this is Andy, Moose's mother, Alice. This Ooh. is my brother. My pleasure. Ooh, your hands are nice and warm. You know what's even warmer? Inside. I should go. You should come in and have something to eat, I insist. I already ate. Thank you. Fake it. Pretend to love everything that Barb serves. Come on inside. She's not going to let it go, and she's not going to be satisfied until you come inside. That's right. Besides, there's an extra space where Alec was supposed to sit. Come on. Done. Mm. Done, good. Oh, I am so exhausted. Me too. Uh, you should really just sleep here. You could sleep on the couch. I'm sure things are quiet at your house anyway. They don't lock the doors. And if I'm not there in the morning for my mom's crumb cake, she'll freak out. <laughs> that is really sweet, actually. Mm. Arlene? Hmm. I only want to hear yes come out of your mouth. There's no other option. I only want to hear yes. 
Okay. I want you to come over tomorrow morning. No. No, listen, no. we're done with presents at 10, and then I want you to join us. We're gonna go to the movies, have lunch. Honestly, I want you to come. It's your family thing, I can't be involved, and I mean, thank you for the invitation, but really, it's My not. My son's not here. And I don't think my family even thinks I could have a friend like you. And I don't want you to be alone. Look, they haven't even seen you since, what, we were little kids. You'd be doing me a huge favor by coming. Okay, but you owe me. Deal. Okay, fine, I'm gonna get you the camcorder so you can do your music video thing. When you come over, could you make sure that I'm in some of the movie? I'm always not in them. Definitely. Why don't you go to bed? Teach me what to do and I'll finish up. It's a crock pot breakfast casserole. It's easy, I got it under control. The house will smell amazing in five hours. It already does. It's disappointing about Chadsky's, huh? He called you then? Mm -hmm. Good. I know, I can't even imagine them not being here. He sexted me about an hour ago. Told me that the night turned out to be one of the best Christmas Eves he's ever had. Really? Mm hmm. Hmm. Sounds like he's having one of those random magical nights with chemistry between two people. When you're young, you think you'll have lots and lots of those. Hey, Mom. 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 Hey, Mom. I'm sorry. Not for just being gone tonight. Just for a lot. You are for what? You want to know where I was tonight? Okay. I was out, I guess, finding something to believe in. Really, that's... 
What did you? I believe in forgiveness. I believe in saying I'm sorry when I've wronged someone. I believe that old friends can become new ones. Mm -hmm. I believe that I'm luckier than I ever knew I was to have the family I have. And I believe that I am the happiest that I can be when I'm around my son. And I believe I can change and become better. this scratching your head my oh, baby Ava it's the best morning in the world for all you little boys and girls well, where are you? Uh, excuse you. <laughs> He's knocking. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Where's your daughter? Uh, I don't know. Santa has filled the stockings. What? And if you don't hurry, the jewelry goes back to the store. Look at it, you. Jewelry. Jewelry. Oh my, <laughs> all right. <laughs> nice butt, Dad. That's what your mother said. What are you doing? I'm looking for that present. I just, I don't know where in the heck it is. It's down here somewhere. Oh, where'd you get that? That's a nice looking camera. A friend lent it to me. It's gotta be here somewhere. I'm gonna make it a holiday video just for you. Hey, I like the sound of that. No, 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 I, I love you. Not I lube you. Backspace. I think you should just give up on that voice recognition thing, Uncle Heath. It's pretty clear your phone doesn't even understand you. I almost told a girl something that you just do not tell a girl on Christmas morning. Oh, great, you're recording. Who's the girl? Uh, I met her at work a couple weeks ago. She's new. She's standing there at the water fountain quoting lines from a Christmas vacation. <laughs> Are you going to send her a selfie? <laughs> I've already done that. <laughs> uh, well, she's a sweet little thing. Wait till you see her. I knew as soon as I heard her, I, she's the one. Okay, now we're going to do this 60 minute style. Okay. I want you to talk about the pizza cutter spatula invention. Okay. And then we're going to capture this before you're famous, yeah. before you're a millionaire. Okay. All right, here we go. Go. Okay. All right, well, all right, well, it's this thing that, I mean, it's like two in one, and, and uh, you put Wait a minute, what, we get, what are you going to call it? Um, I don't know, we, we could call it the, the peas platula. Spatula? Did I hear peas spatula? Yeah, I think I did. How much is it? Uh, uh $19.95. What if we buy one now? Do we get, like, two? Well, you could get two for one. Oh, that's great. I'll take a hundred. A hundred? <laughs> Here we go. That looks <laughs> 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 You and me, we're gonna, we're gonna play that. Absolutely. Hey, are you listening? Moose, are you listening? Moose, Moose, promise me, you and me, man, as soon as you get that thing set up. This one is Yeah. I'll write that. I'll write that. Okay. Bowling pin? Oh! Is this for juggling? Do you know how to? You take, you take the blue tape off. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. You can do it. You can do it. Hot Springs, Arkansas. Don't you remember that trip? Stagecoach Motel. Yeah, oh, don't you remember that trip? Oh. Ava, close your ears. <laughs> Which okay. one of us were made okay. that day? Oh. Hey. oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute.
after 44 years. Oh, that's so pretty. <laughs> so pretty. That thing's huge. I know. <laughs> You know what? I think that's gonna be Arlene. You all remember Arlene? Oh yeah. Down the street. Arlene from the, it's the neighborhood, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, she's a special friend of Blue Oh, 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 I missed you. Happy oh my God. We were waiting so for you. <laughs> Pound it, bro. Pound it, bro. Hey, it's one it. for your grandpa. Uh, All right. All right. I wanted sure to be a surprise. surprise. All right. Yeah. Man, it's safe yeah. and sound. I know. I know. It wouldn't be the same without you, buddy. I know. They, oh, the snow finally let up, so. Oh. What's, what's oh. coming back? Okay, hold on. I'm going to see. This is for my sweet little daughter. I'm going to see. Okay. 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 Use that Kleenex. Kleenex <laughs> box. <laughs> it's because you get sick all the time. <laughs> you don't make it cool. I don't even know what, what? you're talking about. Oh my gosh. This is from Moose. Thank you, Moose. <laughs> oh. Wow. It's the sweater and the, and the cowboy hat combination. <laughs> hey, you raised your son right. I, I, I know. I told him you're already out of control. There you go. Wait, well, come on, you trying to save the paper? Let's go. I can use it again. Why you don't want to use it again? Sure. It's recycle, reuse. You know? No. All right. Oh. What is that? Oh yeah. Good job, I, I like that. Yeah, I like that. On, you. on me. Yeah. Woo. Great. <laughs> Ooh, hey. Oh. Is that a first edition? It is. It looks You'd love to read. That's nice. Well, do you like Snoopy? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I like of course. And everything. Look at that. It's from 1967. If you that's go back to cool. the front. That's actually really valuable. Oh, that's that's supposed to see that that part, so you put that on here. Yeah. You're, you want to be careful with that. Oh. She'll understand later. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you get? What is it? What? Something that means a lot. Aww. What's the what's what the suspenders like? Is there something with that? Yeah, something between me and Alec. I think we'll leave it there. Aww. You want me to put them on? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Take a good picture of this. Can oh, cool. you me a favor? Grab the. What's up? Oh, that's Who has a camera? Yeah, that's front of Mark. Here we go. Face me. Here we go. Smile. Just... Smile. Oh. It's not. There we go. Marlene, stop. I want to film. No, you don't. I don't want to see anything. Now, if you get my ticket, I'm going to get everybody's ticket. All right, all right. Oh. That's my boy. Yeah, I'm on it. Wow. Okay. I'll take 15. Yeah, I'm yes. sorry. Adults? 15 adults for, uh, and one child for Bobo. Yeah. Okay, that's $7 for the adult and $3 for the child. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Hey! Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Is this your best Christmas ever? I don't know. 
Thank you. 